Hi everyone, Alan Dawson, Business Depot Agency Breaking. Great to be back in front of you again. Special guest with me again, Brenda McGrath, Special Counsel at Business Depot Legal. The reason I've got him here, one of our previous recordings we talked about in the retention period, usually 90 days after settlement of a rental portfolio, um, certain claims can be made for properties that have been lost in that 90 day period. We talked about properties that are sold, landlord picks a different agent, something like that, maybe then moving back into the property, etc. I think it's important though to address potentially which ones may not be claimable. Sure. And ones that come up usually as a, a discussion between solicitors at the end of that retention period. So Brendan, which ones sometimes are not claimable in the retention period? So there's really probably two main ones okay. which aren't claimable. Uh, the first one is quite straightforward really, where you have a sale of a property, Yep. but the buyer has been involved in that sale financed by maybe the agent on the sale. Yep. I mean, the whole point of the retention really is to protect the buyer against sales dropping off, but where the buyer is an active part of that, yeah, sure. it makes it very difficult yep. for them to claim. Uh, secondly, and probably the more contentious one, is where there is a drop off of an appointment due to mismanagement or misconduct on the part of the buyer. Okay. So that can sometimes happen where uh, the buyer takes over the appointment and for whatever reason, they don't manage it properly. It may be because their staff aren't up to speed with the processes, mm -hmm. payments may be delayed, yep. or there may be some other sort of misconduct involved in the way the business is being run. And this can even extend to sometimes where appointments are changed, fees and charges are changed. Okay, yeah. And that's something, like, that's something which obviously yeah. seriously impact the relationship. Yeah, absolutely. And so in those sort of circumstances, whenever that sort of comes up, a lot of the time, uh, a lawyer acting for a seller will certainly contest those sorts of claims where there's any evidence of yeah. conduct or, or mismanagement. Yeah, absolutely. Great advice there. Um, and I think that's one thing that we need to draw to your attention is that if you are in acquisition and you bring a portfolio into your current structure, get your staff involved, get your team involved so that they look after it correctly, communicate with your landlords, um, make sure they tuck them into bed and make sure that the processes are correct for them. Make sure that what they had in the previous sales situation is well looked after moving forward. So, you know, getting their payments on time, all of that sort of stuff. A lot of landlords have got uh, mortgages and things like that where they've got to get payments through on time. So get your team involved, make sure that you're looking after them. And then we don't have that situation where mismanagement comes into the discussion. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks, Brendan. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Our details are at the end of the recording if you need to touch base. Great advice from Business Depot Legal. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Cheers.